guys, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'll be doing another fashion challenge video, and this time I'll be challenging myself to make something that is not so modest into something that is modest. Well, modest by my standards anyway. So for this challenge, I thought I'd pick Fashion Nova, because Fashion Nova is everywhere. It's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, music videos, TV, literally everywhere. You cannot escape Fashion Nova. It will find you in your dreams and it will haunt you. So for that reason precisely, I thought, Let's do Fashion Nova. So for this video, I bought three items from Fashion Nova. All a little bit similar, but all a little bit different at the same time. I think I'm going to show you guys the three pieces first, and then I'm going to try them on and style them for you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. So the first item that I have is the one that I'm wearing right now. It looks like this, and it also looks like this on the model. And it's basically a lovely ruched body. It's got like this lovely detail up here. It's got a nice little bit of a lacing here. It's made out of this lovely black soft mesh and it does have lining I mean not on the sleeves but all of like this body part is like fully lined which is nice because it gives you a little bit of coverage and this is around like 25 ish pounds but they did have 30% off the entire site so I got an additional 30% off thank you very much which by the way reminds me if you do want to buy anything from Fashion Nova make sure you sign up for their like subscription emails because they send you discount codes like all the time I just ordered this one thing but I've received like 20 discount codes since then so if you want to save the coin, sign up online and save that coin. Anyway, so this is the first item and honestly, I am in love with it. It fits so nicely, it's so comfortable, it looks great, I'm just... Oh, I'm in love, but there's only one teeny tiny little problem that begs me about it. And that is the lining. Now, normally I love lining. Lining is great. The only time I don't like lining is when the lining starts to flip out and stick out of the outfit, which is what happens to this. If you guys notice over here, you'll see a little safety pin because Basically, this outfit has too much lining, so if I don't safety pin it, it'll basically look like this. Which, honestly, you guys can't tell too much because I'm wearing a new top, but it ain't cute. It's not cute when you're wearing a top and all you can see is this. Like, mm, no. I would unpin it and show you guys, but honestly, it was kind of a hassle to fold it in such a way where you couldn't see it but it also like did a good job so i'm gonna just leave it right there but just so you guys know if you guys do order this you might have to either like pin back some of the lining or sew it back i might sew it back because i can't imagine myself like safety pinning this every single time or maybe it's just a piece that i had maybe it's just my one that has like a bit too much like fabric on it and the rest are fine but yeah that's the problem with this one also another thing to note the bottom part of this body is in a thong style so it does get a little skinnier at the back which honestly kind of shocked me because I didn't read it online. Either A, it wasn't written there because I don't remember reading it, or B, it was there and I completely missed it, so I'm not 100% sure if it was written there or not. But I know in the pictures they definitely didn't show you, they just had this tucked into a skirt, so I was just like, eh, I feel like it'll be fine. But having said all that, even though it is in a thong style, honestly, it's completely 100% comfortable. It's made out of a thickish material, so it doesn't, like, get in the crack and, like, give you a wedgie, it just sort of sits there nicely. Kind of loose, but not in like a loose, snappy kind of way. It just sits there perfectly. But I thought I'd just let you guys know in case you guys are interested in purchasing this item. The next item that I have is this gorgeous ruched dress. And oh my God, you guys, I am in love. Like, ho, ho, ho. When I first saw this dress, I was just like, damn, you beautiful, but will you look beautiful on me? That is the question, because you know, it was super skin tight and the model had a banging body and I have a very round body. So I was just like, will this work, will it not work? And honey, did it work, just ho <laughs> But yeah, this is the dress that I got. It's a lovely like spaghetti strap dress with like a straight neckline. It's very chic, very cute, and it's got this amazing ruching detail throughout the entire dress. And it's again made out of like that black mesh material that I have on this outfit but this has like a black lining. Honestly when I first got this I was really really worried because I looked at it and I was just like girl you are not gonna fit in that just no I mean look at the size of this look at the size of this even though clothes stretch I was like there is no way this is gonna stretch over like everything that I have to offer. To my surprise it did and it was incredibly comfortable like I've been in dresses that suck you in and hold you in and make you look super snatched and beautiful and all that jazz but usually with those dresses they are incredibly uncomfortable and when you take them off you have like all these lines on your body from where the fabric has literally just been digging into your skin but with this it's literally so comfortable it's like wearing a hoodie it's just I don't know how it does it. It's like so comfortable, it makes your body look amazing, but it doesn't actually like pull you in or anything. Honestly, I feel like it's a ruching. I think the ruching just works so well on your body that it just hides everything. Cause girl, I got a belly pooch and it's not a small belly pooch. Like, let me tell you that. When I eat food, I look heavily pregnant. When I don't eat food, I look kind of sort of pregnant. So this dress, 
amazing, so comfortable, but just it hides everything. I'm just, I'm in awe, okay? I'm in awe. More clothes needs ruching. I just, I am a fan of the ruching. Also, by the way, this was around 26 ish pounds, but then I got the discount on top of that, which <laughs> just makes it such a bargain, even at 26 pounds. This is great. I could never get such a dress for such a price. So, the last outfit that I have is something a little bit more saucy, a little bit more scandalous, and a little bit more wild. And it's this little two piece. It comes with a little bralette. Well, not really a bralette. What would you call this? I think I'd call this like a bandeau. Yes, a bandeau. A little nice little bandeau. And some lovely wide leg trousers. And this two piece set was £30. Honestly, this was the item that I was most excited for. I don't usually wear such loud colours, but for some reason when I saw this outfit, I was just like, ooh girl, I'm feeling it. So yeah, I was super excited and I ordered it in a medium because a medium was supposed to be like a size 10 to 12, I believe, and that is what mass size is, and that's like the size of all the other items I purchased as well. So I was just super duper excited. I was like, you know what, it's a bit more on the risque side with this little bandeau piece, but I was like, you know what? I can do this. I have an idea. I have a plan because when I bought all these things, I was looking around and I already instantly had ideas on how I'd style them. And with this one, I was just like, bam, I got a plan. Mm -mm -mm. But once it arrived and I tried it on, my plan just went out the window and down the drain. Just now. So let's talk about the bandeau. Now, this little, I don't know, you know what, is it called bandeau? Is that a weird way to pronounce it? I don't know. I don't really buy these things, so I don't really know how to pronounce them. Now, this bandeau is cute, but it's got a few problems. The first problem is like the finishing, like the sewing inside here, just, I don't know if you guys can see from there, but it's not finished nicely. Like the fabric has literally just been cut haphazardly and it has been like tucked in and sewed. And even at the back here, a part of it's like, I don't know if you guys, do you guys see that little hole? There, right, oh, you can see it. But yeah, like the fabric's like, stretch and there's two little holes where the stitching's like come off and pulled. Also this little bandeau has padding in it which honestly I love it when things have padding that way I can get away with not wearing a bra and that way you know no nip knops are out in the wild. But the one thing I don't like is the fact that you can actually see it through the fabric. I don't know if you guys can see it that well here but like actually you can kind of see it there. It's like a big fat circle and sometimes when you wear it you can see it so you have to adjust the fabric. Which brings me on to my next point, which is adjusting the fabric. Oh my god, you have to adjust this all the time. So when you have it on, well, let me just get up a little bit. So when you have it on, you're constantly having to like pull it wider because it just likes to shrink and get small. Now, if you have small little boobies, then you're fine. But if you're on the slightly bigger side, you're just gonna have to start pulling it or else you'll have one that's bigger than the other. And also, it's just kind of annoying that every so often you just have to like pull and tug and do all that stuff. It's just, it's just really irritating. So yeah, that was a little bit of a flop. Now, the trousers on the other hand are like a whole other set of problems like sometimes I'm like yeah but sometimes I'm just like no so when I got these I was trying them on you know as you do and they went over my knees fine they were coming up to my thigh and it was just like it was going on and then when I got to like the upper thigh part to where like you have your hips it just it wouldn't it just no I'm sure everyone's had that moment in life where you're putting on some trousers that don't stretch at all and you're putting them over your thighs and they're just not going and you're kind of like just like <laughs> what's gonna happen now so you know I kind of went into a mild panic but I did what any other normal person would do and I forced them on anyway I did my little dance I managed to get them on and strangely when they were on they were incredibly comfortable I was just like huh because getting them on was such a hassle and it was so uncomfortable I was like damn when I actually get these on I'm gonna want to cut them off my body but when they were on I was just like I don't want them to leave my body. It's really weird, but what I figured out is like basically the top part of the trousers, like this band, and like I think this much of the trouser is very, very tight, so it can literally hug everything. But the rest of it is really loose, so once you're pulling it over your hips, that's the hardest part, but once you have it up, it's completely fine. Anyway, so that's the first thing. The second thing is the fact that these are just too tight. Like, how tight is too tight? This is too tight. Like, oh my gosh, when you wear this, you see everything like I'm not talking panty line I mean like like if you have slightly raised stretch marks on your legs or your butt you will see them that's how tight these are you see everything like your organs are on display it's like those glass cabinets where people display their finest china but in this case you'll be displaying like your organs everywhere because it is that tight like it gets into every cracks now I love me some stripes. Some stripes are great, but you gotta know where to place them and where not to place them, especially if your trousers are so damn tight. Now, because these trousers are so tight, you literally see everything. And on top of that, see these lines, these stripes, they literally fall in between yourself. Literally in between what you think I'm talking about. So it literally hugs you and defines you with this line and this stitching and the stripes. So you're literally like in the nude. You may have clothes on, 
but you're in the nude. So yeah, because of how tight this was, I had to completely rearrange and flip this outfit. Like my original idea just wasn't going to work. So I had to shift some stuff about and I think in the end I got something kind of decent. But yeah, those are my items and those are my feelings on my items. Now it's time to style these pieces and show you guys if I can make them more dance. Let's move on to look number one, which is this outfit right here. So this is how I style the mesh bodysuit. I feel like I definitely needed a bit more coverage so I paired it with this nude bodysuit that I got from Pretty Little Thing and honestly I feel like it paired really really well because I feel like the nude of my bodysuit matched the nude of the lining in the mesh bodysuit so it just went perfectly together and then I tucked both those into these really lovely high-waisted wide leg cargo trousers that I got from Pretty Little Thing. Honestly these trousers are great, they are super comfortable, they snatch your waist nice and cute but they aren't like super tight so yeah those are trousers, I think it gives like a nice cool edgy vibe and I also added like this chain to the side to give it a little bit more of a punch. And then for my shoes, I have these amazing chunky platform trainers I got from Public Desire. They are in the Balenciaga style, but obviously, you know, not the real Balenciagas. But anyway, they're super comfortable, super cute, and I love them. And I feel like it just pulled this outfit together. And then bringing it back to like the top half of my body, I paired this look with a black turban, which I tied together using a black chiffon scarf. And then for my earrings, I have these amazing gold safety pin earrings I got from from Tokyo. But yeah, that is my take on this item. We have outfit number two where I'm styling the gorgeous black ruched dress. Oh my god, you guys, I'm literally in love with how this looks. Like, <laughs> I'm shocked to my very core. I look so good. Oh my god. So, for this dress, I layered on top of a white button down shirt that I got from Mango. I feel like this would work with any kind of shirt or any kind of top under it, but I just went for a plain, simple one because I was going to add some razzle and dazzle with my other pieces. So, I have that. And then for my scarf, I used a black chiffon scarf again, but this time I styled it like down so I sort of pinned it on both sides with these lovely crystal and pearl hair clips I got from New Luck and then I got these kind of matching earrings it's like a pearl with like this nice little diamante hoop on it and I picked those up from eBay and because this dress does have a slight slit in it I decided to pair it with some lovely bright hot pink tights I feel like it just gave it that pop that it needed and these tights are from H&M and honestly they are literally the best tights ever and then finally to finish off the look I have these black strappy sandals that I have from New Look but yeah that is look number two and I am absolutely loving it Finally, we have look number three where I style the two piece, oh, this dreaded two piece. Honestly, the outfit doesn't look too bad. It was just, it was just a hassle, a big fat hassle. So I paired this two piece with my white button down shirt from Mango. I would have loved to tuck it in or like tie it around the waist to give like a bit more of a ooh la la kind of vibe. But because these trousers are just so tight in the crotch and in the butt area, I just had to like have the shirt just hanging down or else Oh my lord, y'all would have seen everything. But anyway, that's why I wore it. And honestly, even though it's not my ideal way to style this piece, I feel like it worked really well. For my scarf, I have this textured black scarf that I got from Faith Bloom Collection. It's really soft, really comfortable, and it's great to sort of tie into turbans because it literally just stays in place all day. And then for my earrings, I have these really cool, like square, slightly tasseled earrings that I got from Topshop a while back. And then finally, for my shoes, I have these gorgeous yellow strappy sandals that I got from Public Desire. Oh my god, you guys. These are literally the cutest sandals ever and they are so, 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 so comfortable. But yeah, that is how I styled the last outfit. that is how I style these pieces. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. I'll be linking all the items that you see in this video in the description bar below and I will be putting some additional cool little pictures on my Instagram. But yeah guys that is this whole video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!